What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Joel and the Wombles video and today we're just going to do a recap really of the absolutely diabolical display of last night and if you don't know and you're unsure of what I'm talking about, I'm of course talking about the Tottenham Hotspur versus Brighton game, it was at Brighton Stadium, the Amex and it was god awful. Any Spurs fan will tell you, if you watch that game, it was diabolically shit. There was nothing there. They look like half the, all of the players. I don't think there's an, even an exception. Maybe, maybe Tongi and Dembele is the slight exception. All of them, especially in the first half, they looked like they couldn't give a flying fuck whether they won or lost that game. They looked like they couldn't care if they won that game and they got their just deserves they deserved to lose last night they were awful awful throughout the 90 minutes and we're just going to go over the key points of what happened last night so starting off Spurs have this habit this season of starting actually relatively well we get a quick goal this did not take place in this game what happened was they decided to set up with a 5-3-2 or a a 3-5-2, depending on how you view it, of three centre-backs with the two wing-backs. That wasn't working from minute one. You, all you did is give Brighton the ball back from centre-backs. And that's inevitably where the goal came from. Brighton opened the score within 10 minutes, uh, within, I think it was about 11 minutes in. Brighton opened the scoring from poor defending again from Tottenham. Just giving the ball away in their own half. Another error. They hit the post moments before that. The entire back line dropped into their own box and allowed them to shoot on goal. And unfortunately for Brighton, it hit the post. Fortunately for us, it hit the post. It was just unbelievably poor. Across the field, just giving the ball away. I can't remember in the first half us stringing together five passes where the ball went forward in any of those passes. Just going from left to right, across the back line, trying to get out. And it was not working. It, it They looked like they had no idea. The front three, Bale, um, you had Son and you had Bergwijn. Bergwijn, in fairness, ran about a bit. Son obviously misses Kane because Son and... If you remember, if you're a Spurs fan, you'll recall... Son, when Kane got injured about two seasons ago under Pochettino and Son went on this run of scoring, he had seven in seven games. Alongside him, everyone forgets the key role that Fernando Loriente was playing. Loriente was unbelievably good at holding up the ball, allowing Son to run in behind and then, and then bringing others into play. And it is desperately obvious to see that again at Spurs. They didn't start Vinicius and obviously they started Son down the middle. And he can't play the lone four. He is too lightweight. Um, and it really summed up the first half. Awful, awful display. They might as well have not showed up. It was that bad. They got him in at half time and you expect a rocket to be shot up some of those players' arseholes. And they come out for the second half and they're doing the same thing. The same thing. Needless passing along the back line. Too slow to get out. They're giving Brighton 10 yards of space to play with. It's not good enough. And if you play like that, you will inevitably lose. If that was a better team we were playing, we could have lost by four or five. That's how bad Tottenham were that night. Or yesterday. It's how bad we were. We could have been down by four or five goals quite easily if Brighton would have taken their chances. They were all over us. And fair play to them. Because me on this channel, one of the teams that I've liked watching this season has been Brighton and Hove Albion. They have been phenomenal this year. They just can't score goals. And the fact of the matter is, it's just ironic that Spurs can't hold a 1-0 lead. But Brighton can against us. And yes, we offered absolutely nothing going forward. At halftime, you brought Davison Sanchez off again. I have real issue with Davison Sanchez. In I, I think he's quick, and 
He's obviously got some defensive capability. My problem is he's our John Stones or what John Stones used to be. When you watch John Stones play, you watch Sanchez play, as far as I'm concerned, there is always a mistake. There's always a mistake there and you cannot afford to make mistakes in defence in this league. You will get punished. And you'll see other teams get punished for defensive errors. We got punished last night. I've watched Leeds this season. When Spurs beat Leeds 3-0, Defensive mistakes at the back for Leeds cost them that game. They gave us the ball back in their own half. Stop losing the ball. Get on the ball. Pass forward. Move the ball quicker. And gaps will appear in opposition teams. Don't just stand there waiting for it. Um, Vinicius came on at half-time. And I actually felt it was the he should have been on from the start. We needed that focal point. That target man. For, for players like Son and players like Bergwijn to play off of. It does not work if you've got three quick players in... Well, I say quick. Bale's not quick anymore. Bale, Son and Bergwijn. It won't work if their defence is perfectly happy to mark you. If you're just going to stay facing your own goal the entire match. Like, you offer no threat with a pace player if they're not going to run in behind. And they didn't do it once. And Vinicius came on. He had a couple of opportunities. He, he fashioned things out of nothing and actually looked okay. He looks like he could do a job. But inevitably, Tottenham dropped more points to teams like Brighton, to teams like Wolves, to teams like Leicester, Crystal Palace. And there's nothing against these teams. But they're teams that you should be beating. And unlike those other situations... We were behind here. We needed to get something out of the game. I would have, quite honestly, watching that game, I'd have taken a point. Is that how bad we were in that game? I'd have easily taken a point. If we'd have snatched a last minute, a last minute equaliser, I'd have taken that because of how poorly they played. And Mourinho's got to take some responsibility for that because that's twice in two games that he's tried to play this 3-5-2. And whether it's with... Whether it's with Dyer, Davies, and Dyer, Davies, Doherty, we saw it in the Liverpool game. He tried to start with that formation, and it doesn't work for us. We've not got the balance, and if you're going to play that system with two attacking wingbacks, you have to have two attacking wingbacks. That's why it works when we play Regulon in there, because Regulon has pace, whereas Ben Davies, solid defender, does not have much attacking capability. Couldn't cross a ball to save his life. He's solid at the back, but going forward, nothing there. And that's what Regulon does well, is Regulon is good going forward. Not amazing at the back, but decent. Um, so you can't really play that way if you're going to play with non-attacking fullbacks. You effectively invite pressure on because your fullbacks aren't going forward to join the midfield. Ah. Uh. It's, it's, it's got to get better. It has to get better from here. Spurs are too good of a team with too many good players for it not to get better. You should not be losing 1-0 at Brighton. And Brighton have taken some scouts this season. They beat Aston Villa. They beat Leeds. They've taken some scouts off some bigger clubs who are higher up in the league than them. It doesn't matter. If you put in a performance like that at Tottenham, you will get beat week in, week out. And I just hope something's going to change. I actually hope there is talk of Ericsson coming back to the club. There's also rumours that Ali will be, if only if Ali leaves. Now, we desperately need a playmaker, apart from T Tongi and Dembele. Because Tongi breaks the lines really well and he beats players. But we desperately need that spark in our midfield to spot a pass. Because there was no attacking threat in that 90 minutes. And it was god-awful to watch. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please go down below. Please give this a like button. Tell me what you thought of the match if you watched it. What did you think of Spurs? What did you think of Brighton? Tell me what you thought. Also, please support the channel. Please give me a new subscriber. It's much appreciated. It encourages me to keep performing these videos for you. And hopefully you get something out of it.